How you doing guys? This is Iron Steel. Welcome to another Hydroneer 2.0 video. So, uh, a couple of a little while ago, I made a video about um, pressure and does it really matter? And there was a couple of comments that were conflicting research results compared to what I had done. All right. Now, being that I didn't really test it fully, and in fairness, when I say does it really matter, it doesn't when you're building at this sort of size. But for me, when it comes to, you know, does pressure really matter, it doesn't really bother me as much. So I suppose I let myself, as in like the way I do things normally in this game, is how I do things. I suppose I should have been a little bit more thorough in what I was telling people and how I do stuff. So, yeah, if, uh, so the reason why this exists is because of that video. And I feel that if I'm going to sit here and be the go-to guy for all things Hydroneer and how things work, maybe I should do it properly. So I built this. This is a proper testing bench for pressure. So let me just reset my counters because we did a little test before we did this. Basically, this one was, I had a little problem with the actual um, T2 drill. So I stacked up some dirt, sat it on top, and there you go. It all works, so that's all good. So yeah, this this is a real sort of like test of does pressure really matter when it comes to speed. Now, I know that pressure speeds up belts, which is why most of my belts over there are all lined with Cloutium. Cloutium makes belt, belt speed really go, but I think it's because I've always just played with just one or two drills Apart from that, apart from my test bench, I've always put full pressure into everything, so I've never really bothered to look into it. And I would say that it's time. It's time to look into does pressure really matter? So we're going to go from both sides of the extreme for zero and full whack. I would say that the reason why I'm redoing this again and actually sort of really going into depth with it is because of some of the comments. They were different results to what I had, and I would rather be. I'd rather have like the correct information in front of me being tested right now instead of just sort of speculating. And um, I would say that the comments sort of taught me a little bit of a lesson, in honesty. If I'm going to say something, I may as well prove it. So that's why this exists. And as said, I did like a couple of seconds test just making sure that it was all working. I'm, I'm basically guaranteed that this is going to win at this point because it is running faster. But there we go. And you can tell that just by the thumpers on the top. So there we go. Right, let me just wait for the clear the line a little bit. And off we go. So by the way, guys, if you, I'm not sponsored by Snaz, but I use it as an on-screen counter. All right, it's really easy to set up. Lots of tu tutorials online as well. So here we are. This is dead pressure at 102 and 103. So it seemed to be that little like stutter they have between actual drill spits might be uh, one of the causes for that. So that's a bit strange, but uh, all good. And then over here we're looking at 162, 163. So there might have been like a one second delay when I pulled the trigger. That's this, so it's about right. So yeah, you're looking at about 60 extra ore per 10 minutes. So that's 60, 3, 380, 380 ore per hour. It's actually been a couple of days since I did this test. And the reason why it's been a couple of days is because that doesn't make any sense, right? We did the weighing in, all the pieces were accounted for and everything else. But I looked back at this and I went, there's something wrong with this number. So I had a chat with Itchy Beard. I've had a chat with other members of the community, other members of the community management team, and there seems to be a problem. And the whole problem is that. This is the problem. Now, the reason why this is the problem is because at 0% pressure... Both these drills would run exactly the same. And that is the honest and absolute horrific truth that both of these would run at the same pre at the same pace if there is no pressure. And on that build over there, that was proven true. This is the problem. This, the T1 drill. Now, the reason why this is a problem is because once you ram that pressure up to 100 and, well, above 180, which is what a iron pipe should be set at, the T1 also stops worrying about that so there is an actual bug in the game to do with the t1 drill which is one of those times you just sit there and just go oh dear so what you can actually do at the moment is almost like overclocking 
And when I say overclock it, it basically just means that. Let me just turn this off because it's lagging. It, that is actually lagging my system. So what I'm what I'm technically meaning by overclocking is that you can whack a cloudium pressure tank into the back of a tier one drill, and it's running faster than it should be, which is why people's results were mind boggling to me. And the reason why it was a little bit sort of like mind boggling to me was because people were telling me different things from like different sources oh this is running at this this is running at this but as soon as that pressure got above like into the cloudium stages people were just like oh yeah well the, the t1 drill is it's running at the same pace it's like it shouldn't be because the tier 1 drill should only be running at 180 uh, 180 pressure whereas the cloudium drill the the t2 drill should be running at 370 pressure which should be a, a definitive difference Basically, because of that almost 100 pressure difference in both these drills, there should be a difference on the counter. And this is where people's results threw me. And it's not, it's not their fault, that's the thing. It's not their fault, and it's not my fault. It's the Tier 1 drill's fault. Because if you put 100 pressure into the back of a Tier 1 drill, it will run at a specific amount. If you put 150% into it, it'll run at a specific amount. If you go to 200 plus, it will run faster, which it shouldn't be doing. So, at this precise moment in time, as of the recording of this video, which was a couple of days ago, and today it's the 26th of May, so I did this test about three days ago, so the 23rd to the 26th, basically, that drill is the problem. So... Until the game gets updated or a hotfix goes in, overclock them. Put a Cloutium pipe in the back of it, rip the crap out of that pressure, because as soon as that gets fixed, your T1 drills won't work as well anymore. So take that as a bit of advice. But if this if this video comes out and then all of a sudden there's a patch to fix the tier 1 drill, then it doesn't work, and I'm very sorry that you watched this video late. But yeah, for the time being, seriously, this drill it, it, its being overclocked with the Cloutium tank. It's almost like there's a bypass here, and there's something wrong with the number inside the Tier 1 drill. The actual coding is wrong, and it bypasses the, iron, the fact that it's an iron drill, and it runs off of Cloutium pressure. So... That's where all it, that's where everybody else's like um, results are coming from. That's where the whole difference is, and that is the one thing that is that threw me off. So there we go. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here if the, whenever gets the, this gets fixed, I'll do another video. Basically, but until then, I think I'm done. Yes, pressure can upgrade your drills and stuff. This one seems a bit broken. Take advantage of it now until it gets fixed. Thank you very much for kicking by. I'll see you on another one. Peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. A boom. Fist bump to you.